this and it kind of caught my attention. I got to thinking, that's all being ropers. How many of y'all like to stay at the top of your game? that to the logger. And this is what the logger replied. He said, I just don't have time to sharpen my saw because I'm too busy cutting down trees. And he went back to work. And I think that happens with us in our spiritual life. Sometimes we get too busy cutting down trees that we're not really worried about sharpening our saw. Uh, in Mark chapter 6, the Bible says that Jesus took time to pray all the time. And he said, but he left everybody and went up on the mountain of prayer. So how do we stay spiritually sharp? How do we stay at the top of our game? How do we stay all tuned up all the time? Well, there's a few things we can do. But the main thing, as I talk about these things, I want you to understand, we have to do them intentionally. We have to schedule them. We have to We put it on a schedule, don't we? We mean well, you know, today I'm going to read my Bible when I get home. Or today I'm going, to, I'm going to spend time in my Bible. I'm going to spend time in prayer when I get home. There again, we get busy cutting down the trees. We don't start with the song. It says that you ought to read intently. You ought to read expecting to get something out of it, for God to speak to us. We go to God in prayer, we go to read our Bible, we should expect to receive something back. How many of y'all go to the practice pen and don't expect to get any better? Right? You go to the practice pen to get better, right? To sharpen your skills. You're hoping that you're better when you get done practicing than you were when you started. But so many times, we'll sit down real quick and we'll just read through a, a few verses and we'll hop back up and we lay it down. We really didn't spend any time sharpening our saw, we just went through the motions. One, another thing we need to do is wait patiently. Uh, some of you may know, some of you don't know. I spent a few years uh, steer wrestling. I did it uh, professionally for a couple of years. And that was my job. And one thing when I was just starting to get to where I could travel and do rodeos, I went and spent some time with Rope Myers. Anybody know who Rope Myers is? Got two boys, Butch Myers and Cash Myers. Got a girl. Remember a girl's name? Uh, Ty. Yeah, rope and tie, for, rope and tie for cash is what he, how he named his kid. But uh, he said something to me that really stuck, and it's been years ago. It's been years. He said you got to slow down. You can't just rush through it because you'll miss something. You know, here us with a five steps process. Do one, two, and three, and just make the steer still fall down. But a lot of times we don't want to wait on God because we're too busy sawing trees. Our life's kind of busy. We got, got time wait. Lord, I'm going to give you a quick shout out. You need to work on that. Would you please get that done? Would you please take care of that? Would you please answer my prayer? But I, I'm going to go on and do this until you do. God wants to know us personally, and He wants to have interaction with us, but it has to be a two way conversation. It can't be all us sitting down telling Him getting up and walking away. And that people say, well, Tom, I just don't hear from God anymore. Well, you're too busy sawing and you ain't listening. That's why you're not hearing. We have to 
to be consistent. We could go practice every day for 10 days. And if we didn't continue practicing, it wouldn't be long before our skills would start to go. Before we start to weaken, we'd start to get lazy in our delivery. Our horse would start to chase. We'd start to make stupid mistakes, things that we know better to do. But we're too busy worrying about the rope and they're not worried about uh, uh, sharpening the saw. How many of y'all have heard this? How many of y'all have ever been to a rope in school? Or been around someone that teaches rope in school? One of the things that they'll tell you to do is practice right. You know, Roy Cooper had a saying, only perfect practice makes perfect. You can't just practice to practice. When you go in the practice pen, I tell this to Terry all the time when we'll go into the practice pen at our house, and I'll ask her this, what are you going to work on today? What is your goal coming into this arena today? Because if it's just to run 20 steers down the pen, we're not going to get anywhere. But what is your purpose today? Do you want to work on your horse? Do you want to work on your delivery? Do you want to work on your faith? What is it you want to work on your scoring? Be intent. Be intentional about your practice. And we have to be intentional about our uh, walk with the Lord. It won't just happen. You can't lay a Bible by your recliner and think that it's going to absorb into you by osmosis. It won't happen. You have to be intentionally going after it. And one thing the Bible says, I want to close with this. The Bible says, if you will seek God, you will find him. He who seeks, find He who knocks, is open to him. So if we're intentional, if we're actively, actively seeking to sharpen our skills, to sharpen our spiritual health, God is there to help us and to sharpen us through His Holy Spirit. Father, we just thank You and we praise You, Lord. Let it be our goal. Let us be intentional. Let it be our goal to intentionally sharpen our skills every day. Let us pray with purpose, expecting to hear and learn. Father, let us not just go through the motions. Let us not get so busy trying to do Christian things that we stop learning what it means to be a believer. That we stop getting sharp. None of us here, Lord, has arrived. None of us here are at that top level. None of us here are ever deserving of what you give us. So let us be a desire to practice intentionally, to follow your will, your way, for our lives. Let us do it with purpose. Let us constantly be sharpening our walk with you. Father, we love you. We thank you for all you've given us here tonight. We ask you to continue to watch over us and keep us safe. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen.